Do you guys realize how close we were yesterday with the events that unfolded? How close we were to being in total, utter chaos in the United States and maybe within the entire world? Um, unless you live under a rock, I'm sure you're aware of what happened yesterday with the former president. Some uh, shooter tried to uh, take him out and uh, nearly succeeded. Uh, I believe somebody in the stands behind him lost their lives and uh, somebody else was critically wounded. So not a great day for America today and the world in my opinion. Um, and how will this affect the silver and gold markets? Uh, one of my buddies was uh, messaging me and asking me, um, what's your gut feeling and how this will affect the markets? And to be honest with you, I'm not sure. Um, big news events usually will affect the stock market. Uh, it will affect silver and gold. But we're in kind of uncharted territory uh, this is, you know, it was a historic event that a lot of us have never seen before. And um, not sure how the markets are going to react to this. What I do know is that somebody screwed up uh, with the Secret Service or FBI or the police to allow some shooter to get on top of a building uh, with a clear line of sight to the former president and uh, with a with a rifle and uh, try to take him out the former president's got to be the luckiest guy in the world or it was an act of god because if that bullet would have been a half an inch further to the right toward his toward his head he'd be dead right now and we would be in, I believe, total chaos. Now, I know we've talked about this in the past, things leading up to this election and how it's going to affect everything. Uh, we literally dodged a bullet. The world has dodged a bullet. And uh, the last information I saw this morning about this shooter was he's a 20-year-old, lived in that area in Pennsylvania. Uh, my wife told me a few minutes ago that she heard they found explosives in his car and he got the rifle, he stole it from his dad or something like that. I don't know if that's true. That's what she told me. There's a lot of, uh, rumors going around, a lot of theories. Um, I don't understand. I, I really don't understand. Uh, any of you that have had former military training or in law enforcement, please tell me how it's possible that they could have allowed this guy to get climb up on top of this building and get a clean shot like that at, a, at the former president. I, it doesn't make sense to me. I've been trying to figure that out in my head. And although I do train uh, with firearms and have been trained, I have no formal military or anything like that, so, you know, I want to hear from the guys, some of you guys who have actually done this type of this type of work or been in the military that knows this stuff, how they could have allowed this to happen. Because it really makes it doesn't make any sense to me. I just don't get it. And do me a favor. If you love the United States of America uh, and you want to see it succeed, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you don't love this country and don't want to see it succeed, please leave and don't watch my videos because I don't want you here. Um, we got the RNC starting. I believe it's in Milwaukee. Correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, they better have some serious security there because I don't think this is the end of it. And... Uh, you know, it, it, it's possible we could see more uh, violence and chaos. 
And um, this has been a very divisive time politically. And that's pretty much what's dominating all the news all the time is about politics and this election coming up. And uh, this kind of stuff makes people emotional on both sides of the aisle. And it doesn't matter whether you support the former president or you don't support the former president. It doesn't really matter. We need to have peace in this country. And um, stuff like this happening is no good. So you want a good reason? Here's another good reason. Unexpected, unexpected, unexpectedly good reason to own silver and gold. Uh, something like this. And if, they, if this, this guy would have succeeded, man, I don't know what would have happened. I honestly do not know what would have happened if they succeeded. So, something went wrong. Uh, I don't see how they could be that incompetent. Secret Service and whoever was responsible for that perimeter. I don't see how they could be that, that incompetent. Please let me know what you guys think. Because uh, it doesn't make any sense to me. And um, I don't know where we're at in this country, but it's almost like we're watching a movie. And this is uh, getting, you know, scary. So what's the next big thing that's going to happen? What are they going to pull out next? I think the people in power will do whatever they have to, whatever they can, to try to retain power. These are the same people that control uh, everything. You know, we can, we can talk about it all we want. We can complain about it. Uh, we can make, watch videos about it. We can talk amongst our family and friends about it. But man, this country is so divided. And then you have something like this happen, uh, which just, it's going to make it worse. Things are not going to get better anytime soon. And, uh, man, I'm telling you, own silver and gold. It's a good idea. Uh, also, maybe prep, because I've been getting into that a little bit lately. Uh, I think it's a necessity. So, I just wanted to make a quick video about this, guys. Um, I want to see what your reaction is. Uh, let me know how you think this could happen. How they, how this, this guy could have pulled this off. I don't get it. A young guy like that, supposedly stealing his dad's rifle, climbing on top of a building at a former president's rally with a rifle, and then people in the crowd apparently were telling the Secret Service or pointing, telling the police, "Hey, there's somebody climbing up the roof of the ladder," and they didn't stop it. I, I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. So please let me know what you think in the comments. We'll see how the gold and silver market reacts to this type of stuff. It's probably going to have some kind of effect. I just really don't, really honestly don't have a good feel on how this is going to affect it or not. All I know is my, me personally, my personal long-term goals, this kind of stuff solidifies uh, my thinking as a silver and gold stacker myself. Not as a coin shop owner, but as a silver and gold stacker. Because when I'm out of this business, because I don't plan on doing this forever, uh, I'm still going to remain a silver and gold stacker. And uh, this, this stuff just solidifies uh, my thinking that why you need this. So uh, if you would, please like and subscribe. Uh, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. And uh, until the next video, I'll talk to you then. Have a great day, guys.